Hey everybody. Welcome back, I guess is what I'm going to say. I haven't been here for a couple weeks. Took a road trip down to New Orleans, which was a wonderful trip. Saw some great stuff. My first time driving around the south like that, so more on that later. While I'm here right now, though, I want to show you one quick demo. I am calling encaustic excising. Most of you have probably heard of incising. That's the simple process of cutting into or scribing into the wax, which it is such a beautiful medium to do that with, one of my favorite things. But excising is um, the removal of things that have been put into the wax and then using those removal marks in very much the same way that you do the incised lines. So simple process, but sometimes it's those simplest things that we need pointed out and then we can make them our own and, and, and that's when it becomes simple <laughs> through the obvious pointing out of it. What I've got going on here is a painting I've already begun in an encaustic, just a lot of paint colors put down on the surface. I had a piece of tape here, taped off that area. I had a bit of collage element in here. I have two more collage elements here. And um, just to, to, to give the pre-story, <clears throat> the history of where this came from for me, um, I, I was doing collage in encaustic and I didn't like how the pieces sat, so how it looked, how the composition looked, so I, I pulled them back out. and the remaining marks from those pulled out elements were what really intrigued me more than having those elements in there at all. So that's, you know, it was an accidental discovery and now I do it purposefully, I guess is my point. So I have removed that tape, I've removed that element of torn edge paper that was there, and now just with my needle tool I'm going to remove the final two collage elements here and see the marks that they've left behind. This can be a lot of fun if you've got, say, a piece of lace or something with texture to it. Lightweight papers are really nice because then they come back and leave markings underneath the wax, whereas this heavier cardstock as it is doesn't leave all that much of a, um, of a mark of the wax having um, permeated it and left a mark behind. Um, but that's, you know, that's a really fun thing. Use different elements. Fabric is gorgeous as well. Use different elements to remove and see what the, see what they turn out like. And then just like with incising, which I will demo next week, a couple of my favorite things to do with incising. I rub oil paint, or in this case, pigment stick. This is an RNF pigment stick. I'm using black, ivory black. But any paint will work too if you don't have pigment sticks, then of course pull out your oil paint. shouldn't say any paint. Oil paint works great for this practice as well. So just going to put a little bit of that on there. I'm always generous with my paint or pigment stick when I work into my incisings or excisings because I like to have a lot of mush. <laughs> I was going to say fluidity, but it's it's not really fluid. I'm just mushing this all into all those little nooks and crannies and beautiful marks that those removed excised elements have left behind. And to have a lot of paint lets you really get it into all the nooks and crannies. The natural incisings like the air bubble pops you can see here as well as my purposed excised marks. So, good for the moment here. I'm getting all precise as if I don't have an audience and I can just play. Alright, and then last but not least, as you all know, we need to smooth move. We need to get rid of the excess paint because this is too much oil paint over the surface of the wax. I want to reveal some of that wax and just let that oil paint be the highlights. A tip here, if you have trouble removing paint, perhaps it's a brand that isn't as soft and luscious <laughs> as the RNF or the Williamsburg that I'm using, grab some oil linseed oil, even vegetable oil, and it will act as a solvent, if you will, 
to help remove the excess paint. There you have it. So you can see how the paint picked up those gorgeous edges and really highlighted that and made this section just so much more beautiful than it was with that bit of collage in there. This is less beautiful, but you get the idea. You can see the evidence of having excised materials and gotten the texture of them let that, that they would have left behind and having those be the elements of beauty and composition in your encaustic painting. Fun stuff. Thanks for coming along. I'll do another one next Wednesday. This Saturday you will not see me once again because I have the encaustic kits live time that we broadcast so that takes the place of any kind of periscope and I'm going to Keeneland so yeah we've got races going on here have a great week get waxy enjoy spring and I will see you next time thanks for joining me